Hello, once again. So in this video, I wanted to do this really cool website that I found. I've seen other languages kind of do this with what's uh, called block, drag and drop kind of coding. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into that website there and take a look at it. So I'll put the, uh, in the description below, I'll put this uh, link to this website. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you guys know of any other kind of block coding that has to do with auto hotkey, definitely mention in the comments below. I definitely want to try to see if there's any other ones out there. I didn't really seem to find any, but I happened to stumble across this one randomly. It's pretty cool. It doesn't seem to be completely finished, but if you're just really new to auto hotkeys or you're just looking to make a very simple script uh, with some very basic like send commands and stuff, this is a great tool to utilize here. So we start out here with a blank canvas, as you see. Uh, over here, you got the little three lines, and this is where you can import your code, export your code, uh, download the script, which is what we would want to use, and then compile to an executable, which at the moment does not seem to be actually doing anything. Um, so maybe that's just a feature that has not been completed yet. So on our blank canvas here, uh, we got a few options over here. So you can obviously start with a template if you're like really, really new uh, or just want one of these works for you and make a few changes to it. You definitely can. Uh, but we're going to make our own here. So we're going to start under the Rules tab, and we're going to do a win and then. And all you do is grab it. It's like a little puzzle piece here. You drag it out, place it where you want. Uh, the cool thing is uh, you'll see little notches here. There's a little one, and then there's a big one. So the little one basically is just saying that you can kind of put one thing there, where the big ones you can either put multiple or just one item there. So we're just going to do a win key. And we're going to plug that little snap that in there for you. Uh, I like, obviously, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I like using F1. So we're going to choose F1 here. Uh, there's quite a few options there, too, going all the way down. Pretty much anything you'll find on your keyboard, uh, but not any type of letters, which is usually good to stay away from letters anyway. Uh, but once you download the script uh, to your actual computer, you can always edit to uh, change it to have the ability to have, you know, A, B, or Z or something there. So this is saying when I press the key F1, then, you know, do whatever I'm going to put here. So we can go to Actions. So let's go ahead and have it run Notepad for us. Plug that in there. Obviously, you can change this to whatever executable you are uh, wanting to use, but I'm happy with Notepad. Once it uh, launches Notepad, uh, let's say I want to send. Here we go. A little send there. Go back to Actions, and as you see, the send has another puzzle piece there, because obviously we want to send something. So we are going to send... You got, so you got a lot of cool options here. Um, let's do key, um, you know, F2. This basically right here, as is now, if I were to go ahead and export this from this, this is basically just remapping right here. Uh, if I were to get rid of that run, it would be kind of like remapping. So that's a great also use of this tool is remapping and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to see send a raw sequence. I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of the F2 key there. Uh, to get rid of something, just unplug it from the puzzle there and you just drag it off the screen and it's gone. So let's go ahead and put that there. And we can do, you know, your usual hello world. And uh, I think that's good enough, you know. Like I said, there's not a lot going on here yet, but it's really easy for doing some very simple tasks. Uh, Auto-filling, you know, a document out or just remapping. You know, you got a few things here. Obviously, you're always going to start with the when then, key, modifier. Uh, you got a key there. Uh, you can do a print. I'm not actually sure what that does. That might just be the same as like a, just a regular send run. Uh, you can also have message boxes. Let's go ahead and add a message box, actually. And we'll just put all done. So yeah, uh, 
you know, very basic stuff, but really cool uh, functions we can do there. So then once we're done, we're happy with what we got here. You know, maybe, we, you know, you can always make a second one here if you want to uh, for your script, but this is good enough for now. So you're just going to come here, you know, say download to script, and that will save it to your computer. I have noticed, as you see right now, sometimes this just does not want to work for some reason. Uh, I think this is in pretty early development, um, so hopefully that will get fixed as time goes on. But sometimes you do need to refresh this page and try download script again for some odd reason. So yeah, uh, like I said, if you guys found any other, you know, block coding that's, you know, auto hockey related, uh, definitely link it in the comments below. I want to check that out. Hopefully it has a little bit more uh, than what's going on here. And hopefully this expands eventually. So let me know what you guys think. If uh, you guys think this is something you could use, I could definitely see myself using this to just kind of quickly remap keys in a, just a fun way. Honestly, is more why I'm going to play with this. Is It's just a, such a fun, easy way. But it would be a great learning tool. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm always uploading you know, about two to three videos every week. Uh, if you guys have recommendation, also hit the comments up below. I love hearing what you guys want to see and trying to help. Yeah, uh, you guys out. All right, guys. See ya.